FaZe Nikon used to be one of the most well-respected members of FaZe Clan who was posting videos all the time, but if you take a look at his YouTube channel in 2023, you will notice he hasn't uploaded a single video in over a year. FaZe Nikon hasn't given any official statement on why he stopped making videos, leaving it to the fans to try and figure it out for themselves. In today's video, we are going over the rise and eventual fall of FaZe Nikon, talking about how he grew his YouTube channel in the first place, became a member of FaZe Clan, and started facing a lot of backlash in 2021 when the truth about some of the FaZe members' actions came to light. Let's get straight into it. FaZe Nikon Nikon currently has over 1.3 million subscribers on YouTube and over 100 million channel views. Unlike a lot of the other members of FaZe Clan, who grew their audience through Call of Duty trickshotting though, Nikon started out with graphic design, and that's how he ended up joining FaZe Clan. Nikon has posted some of his work on a website called Behance, and he wrote a little about himself as a description, saying, Hey, my name is Nikon Natum, I am a full-time graphic designer. I live in Toronto, Canada, and I started designing five years ago because a few of my friends who I played Xbox with needed designs for our YouTube team, and ever since that day I can't get away from design, and I also run Face Studio. So even though Nikon might not have been the greatest Call of Duty player in the world, he helped out a lot of people in the community with thumbnails, channel art, banners, and more. Moving forward into 2014 though, a lot of FaZe members decided to move into the New York FaZe house, and Nikon would join them in the house a little bit later. A lot of the FaZe members who were solely focused on making Call of Duty Black Ops 2 videos prior to joining the FaZe house started vlogging a lot more once they got into the group setting. FaZe Blaziken, FaZe Rain, and FaZe Adapt were uploading more IRL content, and Nikon would sometimes appear in their videos. After fans of FaZe Clan kept on asking Nikon to start his own channel, and make videos, he decided to finally upload a video on May 31st, 2016, titled My First Ever YouTube Video, which currently has over 1.2 million views. Since Nikon didn't start posting content until games like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2 would decrease significantly in popularity, his first YouTube video was a vlog with the FaZe members. The comments on Nikon's first video were really supportive, and he kept on uploading pretty consistently. Surprisingly enough, Nikon's vlogs are averaging over 200,000 views right away, mainly because he was always featuring the other FaZe members in his videos. Nikon uploaded videos titled We Broke into the Phase House, A Day in the Life of the Phase House, and I Scared Phase Adapt, all of which got over 250,000 views. Despite the fact that Nikon was growing his channel with vlogs, he still uploaded gaming content from time to time. On July 17th, 2016, Nikon uploaded a video titled My First Ever Call of Duty Video, which got over 460,000 views. This video was a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 cut com, and he continued uploading more Call of Duty videos, often challenging the other Phase members to 1v1s. He uploaded a video on July 26, 2016, titled Phase Nikon vs. Phase Blaziken, $500 1v1, which got over 620,000 views. One of the reasons Nikon was able to grow his channel so fast was because he was posting videos pretty much every day since he started, and since he was living in the New York FaZe house, people would subscribe to his channel and watch his videos, not only because they wanted to see what Nikon was up to, but also because they wanted to see the other FaZe members in his vlogs. Just a few months after Nikon started uploading, his videos were averaging over 300,000 views. Jumping forward into 2017, by this time, the New York FaZe house had come to an end, and Nikon moved into another content house, this time being the Cloud House. He made a lot of videos with Ricegum and Faze Banks, who also lived at the Cloud House, and on May 23rd, 2017, Nikon uploaded a video titled Guess That Song Challenge, which got over 1.5 million views, making it one of his most popular videos of all time. A lot of the videos Nikon was posting at the Cloud House were getting over 400,000 views, and a video he posted titled Waking Up Faze Banks with Water Guns got over 3.3 million views. Around this time, Nikon was starting to take his fitness more seriously, trying to lose weight. If you take a look back at Nikon's first video on YouTube, compared to him in 2017, you will notice a massive difference. On August 9th, 2017, Nikon uploaded a video titled My Roommates React to My Weight Loss Transformation, where he goes around the cloud house showing the before and after photos, and this video got over 1.8 million views. FaZe Nikon's time in the cloud house would be short lived though, and he moved out in the beginning of 2018. Nikon uploaded a video titled Why Am I Not in the Cloud House Anymore, where he explained that there was no bad blood with the other cloud house members, and he just moved out because they were going in different directions content wise. It wouldn't take long for Nikon to join another content house though, and he moved into the Hollywood phase house soon after and continued growing his channel. Nikon started uploading a solid amount of Fortnite content in 2018, and even though a few of his Fortnite videos got over 200,000 views, they weren't doing as well when compared to his regular vlog style content. This makes a lot of sense looking back, because Nikon's channel was always branded around in real life videos, so when he started uploading more gaming content in an already saturated niche, it didn't do as well as some of the other phase members' as gaming videos. Moving forward into 2019, phase Nikon started to upload a new style of video, that being food videos. He posted videos such as as Flamin' Hot Cheetos Food Taste Test, Chicken Nugget Eating Challenge with FaZe High Sky, and Attempting to Eat 50 Mexican Street Tacos, all of which got over 700,000 views. At this point in time, Nikon wasn't uploading as consistently as he used to, posting a couple times per week at best. Don't get me wrong, it's not like Nikon quit YouTube or anything, but compared to when he first started uploading content back in 2016 with the New York FaZe House, he wasn't making as many videos. Jumping forward into 2020, Nikon decided to experiment with some Warzone content, but these videos didn't do that well, and they failed to reach 50,000 views. 
Nikon didn't give Warzone videos much of a chance though, only uploading two videos total in the game, so maybe if he kept on posting the game, he would have gotten more support. Either way though, Nikon went back to uploading his food videos with the other FaZe members, and they were doing extremely well viewership wise. These videos were getting about 800,000 views on average, and a lot of them are breaking 1 million views. I think it's really interesting that Nikon's channel is doing the best in 2020, because a lot of the other FaZe members had already gone through their YouTube peak way back during the Call of Duty trickshotting era. Nikon did start his YouTube channel in 2016, much later than a lot of the other FaZe members, and his audience was never built around gaming, so it makes sense that his channel wasn't performing the same way as everyone else. On July 18th, 2020, Nikon uploaded a video titled How I Lost 100 Plus Pounds, which got over 700,000 views. In this video, Nikon explains how he was able to lose so much weight in a short amount of time. He talks about the importance of eating a healthier diet, as well as drinking a lot of water. Moving forward into 2021, this year started off great for Nikon, as he continued to upload his food videos, and they were getting about 900,000 views on average. I think one of the main reasons that Nikon's videos are still doing so well is because of the constant collaboration with the other FaZe members. In almost all these food videos, Nikon was with FaZe Tico, FaZe K, FaZe Jarvis, or FaZe High Sky. All of his videos are also really similar to each other, so if someone enjoyed one of his food related videos, chances are they're going to watch all of them. Things will quickly take a turn for Nikon and a lot of the other FaZe members though, when it was revealed that he was involved in a crypto scam. On June 5th, 2021, the Save the Kids crypto token was formed, and a lot of FaZe members and other influencers promoted the coin as an easy way to make money. In the end, people like FaZe Nikon, Jarvis, and K ended up making a ton of money by scamming their fans. They promoted the Save the Kids crypto coin on Twitter and YouTube, encouraging everyone to buy this coin. Once a lot of the FaZe Clan supporters bought the coin, the price obviously went up, and all the FaZe members promoting the coin sold their shares immediately, causing the coin to plummet because they owned a large portion of the supply. This caused a lot of drama in 2021, and it made FaZe Clan look bad, so they ended up kicking FaZe K out of the clan entirely, while suspending Nikon, Tico, and Jarvis. A few months after this took place, Tico proved he was innocent and was let back into FaZe Clan. This wouldn't be the case for the rest of them though, and Nikon still hasn't rejoined FaZe. If we take a look back at Nikon's YouTube channel though, you'll notice that he hasn't posted a single video since June 9th, 2021, that video being titled FaZe Clan Mystery Food Box Taste Test, which got over 200,000 views. The Save the Kids crypto drama got exposed in July of 2021, so Nikon hasn't uploaded a video since people found out about the crypto scam. This is definitely the reason Nikon hasn't been uploading, and he knows if he eventually decides to come back to YouTube, people are going to be extremely mad at him, and rightfully so. Even on the last video Nikon ever uploaded, which came out before the crypto scam, his comments are filled with people calling him, Jarvis, and K scammers. Despite the fact that Nikon hasn't uploaded in a year and a half, he's still somewhat active on Instagram, posting stories somewhat frequently. Moving forward into 2022, on November 8th, Nikon posted a photo of him in boxing gloves, writing, working on unlocking Nikon 2.0, it's my time, and this post got over 12,000 likes. Someone commented on this Instagram post saying upload bro and Nikon actually responded saying soon but this was over three months ago and he still hasn't uploaded a new video. Now obviously I don't know if Nikon will ever come back to YouTube or not but I wouldn't be surprised if he uploaded a couple times here and there but I doubt he's going to be uploading on a regular basis again. Nikon definitely made some great content back in the day but it's impossible to look past the fact that he literally scammed his own fans for money and hasn't even made an apology video. Make sure to drop a comment down below if you are a fan of Nikon or not and I'll make sure to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video on what happened to phase Nikon and I'll see you all next time.